Hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. My man's Chris. Raymond, that's you, isn't it? Still hurting, cadet? No, I can still fight. That's the spirit. Uh, I guess you thought of everything. But even the FPC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. Rats in the city all over again. And No more. Looks like we both were too late. Both of you. Look. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope? He's quoting Dante. I'll find you, Jill. I promise. Alright, there's the recap. It's still pretty neat how the game does it for me. Alright, A Nightmare Revisited. I guess I should be pointing out the names of these episodes. We are Veltro, vengeful messages from the depths of the Inferno. Terrorists. We killed these bastards already. It looks like you missed a few. And they're on this ship. And now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. Seek the truth about Amy. Terra Grigia and vengeance. Where are you going? Jill, look at this. The whole ship's out of power. The ship's running on emergency power. But the comm system needs the main power. Okay. We need to bring the engine room back online. That won't be easy. No, it won't. Hmm. Well, let's get to it then. Raymond, take it. You might need it. Like you said, turning on the power won't be easy. Thanks. That key will get you through the casino on the first floor. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the bill. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FPC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. I haven't heard from her since she went to the bilge. Uh, I think I saw her. Did she have long blonde hair? Friggin' massive, uh... Uh, never mind. Um... Yeah, I think I did see her, though. I told you, the casino entrance is on the first floor hall. Okay. That's not where I'm going first, though. There's somewhere else I want Should to go. Should we look for this Rachel woman? We can, but after we bring back the ship's power. Alright. Yeah, Rachel. Uh, it You can play as Rachel in raid mode, which is pretty fun. She's, from what I can tell, she's a very goofy woman, which is funny. It's kind of sad, though, since she's dead. I always think it's sad when you see a dead character and then you later learn what their personality is because then when you come back to that moment, you're like, oh, yeah, they died. Uh, what the hell is that? There's a lot of them. I don't like this. I mean, I know what those things are. And I don't like it. So many of them. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm scared now. Uh, I don't like it, man. I don't like it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a lot. Um. I gotta... 
Gotta figure this out. No. Okay. Uh. All right. That doesn't work. No. Hang on. Hang on. I. I can do this. Let me think for a sec. Wait, no. Ugh. I'm not. I'm not the best at puzzles. I I will admit this. They are not my strong suit. I'm I'm good at. Uh, fighting. Um, uh, and, you know, shooting. Those are things I'm pretty good at. Uh, but hey, I got it, so. Alright. I'm really scared now. Because uh, I think these... Hey, a sniper rifle. I know these guys were not in the DS version, and you know, I could do without them. I'll be able to purify the pool with this. Yeah, sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, God. I could go in there now. Eh, yeah, that's pretty gross. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's get in here. Uh, okay! Uh, Oh, yeah, those things all over the place, they, um, I don't think I'll spoil it. Well, we'll find out when it happens. Does that sound good? Okay, now I have the anchor key. So, I'll be able to use that on the anchor doors. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, Rachel. You know, I, I do feel bad for Rachel. Uh, you know, she was cornered by two of the, the zombies. Um, no, that won't, that's not the right way. I don't think. Wait, yeah, she got cornered by two of them, and then they, you know, they took her out. She was just trying her best. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that, that fire rate is very slow. I want to up that. Heh! <laughs> .69, baby. That's th also a funny number. I, I do find it kind of funny though how that number has become like this massive meme because of its implications because <laughs> like it why why is that so funny like what makes it so hilarious <laughs> that as soon as you see the number oh dear there's more as soon as you see the number 69 though it's just like hot oh, nice dude I, I didn't know there were going to be more of those things. I don't remember running into more, so I think going to the pool area, or the solarium, that triggered uh, more 
What's this? Magnum ammo? Oh, I, I really want a magnum. I'm going to keep my eye on that. I don't, I don't trust it. Oh, oh, you can see that's its face. That's its face. Uh, 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 I don't like that. I don't like how you can see its face. They do not have a pretty face like Jill. Or faces, because Jill's had like five different faces throughout the <laughs> Resident Evil franchise. And no, I'm not including the friggin' box face from the first game. Because that was more like uh, shapes and colors assembled to look like a face. Oh, wait a minute. There's, there's nothing for me up on these upper cabins. I forgot. Oh, I guess I should go to the elevator rather than just circle back. That'd be better. Yeah, that's a, a boy door. Life boy. Boy. Uh, lower cabins. Yes. Yeah, the other elevator I need to get to doesn't work, so I don't know what I can do about that. Um, did I need to go this way? I think I went the wrong way. That's a possibility. I didn't go into the solarium in my last playthrough, though, so I never ended up picking up the sniper rifle. Or whatever else may be in there, I don't know. I mean, I sure as hell don't remember from eight years ago. I mean, that was eight years ago. Okay, yeah, it seems like there's nothing for me in here. I'll go ahead and uh, go through the promenade deck. I don't, I don't like how those things are just around. Those things are scary. And again, they weren't in the DS version, so when I first saw one of them, I was flabbergasted, to say the least. You know, you ever been flabbergasted? It's quite a feeling. Oh yeah, I needed to go through the casino. I probably should have listened to what Raymond was saying rather than just think about his partner's tits the whole time. <laughs> That's the problem, man. This is a problem. I get too distracted by women. I need to stop doing that. I just, I can't help it, man. Women, I've said this before, women are attractive, okay? Uncontroversial opinion. I'm just saying it. It's dark in here. It's dark in here. Power's cut. Oh, out. It's not cut. I apparently am dyslex dyslexic and unable to speak. It's because I'm thinking about women again. <laughs> <laughs> I need to focus. Okay, it, it doesn't help that I'm playing as Jill. I'm just saying. You know, third person camera, yet again. Coming in clutch. I mean, I said a, a couple episodes ago, it's great because you get to look at your character. And, you know, that's fun when the character looks cool. And when the character looks, um something other than cool, then it's it's kind of fun in a different way. Alright. This place actually is kind of nice. It's a luxury ship. They have things like casinos. If not for the fact that hundreds of people have died on this ship, I'd uh, I'd feel pretty pretty cozy right now. And a little fishy. Point in there. I want. I want to get it. Press the button. Yeah, why not? Holy 
Hey, he finished what I was gonna say. I see he's in the video. You got it, Parker? Ow! Wait, where'd you get that shotgun, Parker? Finally quieted down a little. Jeff, look. I see something. Huh? Coin. Picked up coin. Right, I'm not in the mood to gamble right now. I'm not pressing that again. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe it turned off the virus flow. Okay. Uh, it's locked. There's a statue of a lady. I wonder if Jill finds that offensive. I have one coin. That's oh, not enough. Want another coin? Yeah. I want to open the door. Great, now I gotta gamble. And my luck is terrible, so... So, I can get more coins with this? I wish I had one of these at home. That way you could take the coins that you've inserted out and you don't lose all your money. Oh. Alright. Okay. It's not that one. I'm not feeling that one. Sorry if I sound a little cynical about casinos, but I've never had very good luck, so I'm not a gambler. Every single time I've been like, you know what, I'm going to take a risk. It doesn't matter what it is. It never pans out. I have never gotten lucky with a big risk. Ever. hey -o. I wonder if these coins have any real monetary value or they're just for the casino. Okay, um, there's a number, a specific number that I need to, oh, hey, maybe this is what tells me. Casino staff's report. I finally found out how to bypass the security on the VIP room. That room's reserved for all the high rollers, so I've always been curious what goes on in there. It's so easy. All you need to do is feed the coins to the casino girl next to the door, and you can bypass any security. You have to hit the precise weight, 107 grams. A small price to pay for salvation. <laughs> I mean, for access to the VIP room. Man, I, I have a, a bug bite on my ankle, and it's on the inside of my sock. Can someone explain that to me? How a mosquito got through my sock? I freaking hate mosquitoes, dude. Okay, that won't work. That also won't work. There you go. Quick math. Alright, this is uh, where the higher ups go. And then you got like a what a poker blackjack table? I don't I don't know. I don't know card games in well I don't know casino card games. I have the basic understanding of you know a lot of card games. My favorite is Uno. All right, a scribbled memo. Dearest friend, I'm at my wit's end. I'm sorry, but I must go on ahead. They're sleeping, but they'll wake up eventually. Now's my chance. Just thinking about them makes my hair stand on end. Their ugly bodies are not of this world. Their stench like rotting organs, and their screams like echoes from hell itself. I'm so frightened that I can't stop shaking, even now as I write this. Be careful. The bloated blisters on the walls are their eggs. They can regenerate from them. Please don't think that I've abandoned you. I did it for my family. I will pray for your safety. Yeah, he's talking about the, uh, the things on the, the walls. I believe they're called wall blisters. Um, 
And I'm not looking forward to running into one. Man, that was a big fault. Jill, you are one tough gal. Alright. Get me away from those things as soon as possible, man. I hate them. Okay. Here's the lift. Hope it still works. Press X to doubt. I mean, if I've played Resident Evil games before, which I have, I know that it won't work because, you know, nothing works. Unless you do a specific thing to get the thing, which does the thing, so it'll do the thing. Right, the key is missing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, par Parker. Oh, Christ. The key's gone. Well, close there. Look for it. Okay. I'll check around here. See if it turns up. Radio me if you find it. Great. You're going to leave me alone? All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I remember this part so vividly because... Uh, this is the part that got to me as a kid the most. <laughs> Like, 10-year-old me was freaking terrified of this next part, guys. Not this puzzle, though I am a little scared of it because, like I said, I'm not very good at them. Um, uh, well, that one I got done pretty quickly. Okay. Boop. Boop. While we're going up, that means the noise camera angle. I'm sorry if any female viewers are offended. I just didn't Raymond say his partner was in the bilge? Yeah. That means Rachel or whoever has the key. We just have to find her. I think I might have an idea where she is. That corpse you ran into earlier? Yeah. I just pray it wasn't her. Yeah, I hope I'm not offending my female viewers with uh, my comments and camera angles, but you know, I just I have uh, a lot of appreciation for the female form, you know There's nothing wrong with that You know, that's not what I'm all about. I think a personality is also very important You know, that's one of the reasons I like Jill because I like her personality She's a very strong-willed determined woman, and I think that's more attractive than just about anything else. Whoa! Huh? Hey there, bucko. Hey, uh, give me some space here, dude. Okay. All right. So yeah, Rachel. Something's happened to Rachel. I'm I'm just gonna say that. That's. Oh, did you guys hear that? What a way to go. Yeah. I'm going to be a little quiet so you guys can hear things. Ah! Alright. Hello there. Yeah, I'm not scared of you. He made me jump a little, but I'm not scared of you. This is where I found that dummy of Chris. Where is the real Chris? Yeah. That dummy Chris had very accurate hair to the real Chris. Mysterious instructions. It looks like a message. It is essential that we carry out our mission as expeditiously as possible after boarding the Queen Zenobia. Our two targets will be here soon, but they must not compromise the mission. 
Take appropriate actions. Don't overreact. Securing the room. Find the most accessible room in the crew's quarters and secure it. Intel indicates there could be BOW. Activity on the ship. Act with extreme caution at all times. Oh, BOW activity. Okay. Uh, it, it was just kind of hard to distinguish that because, you know, the period. Uh, materials. The spy props you were given are meant to be used to sow confusion among our targets. Follow the instructions for where to distribute them around the room. After that, leave the room immediately. Do not leave any traces of your presence. The main point of this mission is to mislead the targets, so it must be carried out quickly and stealthily. So it's a sneaking mission. Do not let the targets see you. Do not engage or fire upon them. Your primary concern should be your concealment. Leave everything else to me. Okay. Alright. It's hard to get headshots when he's got the high ground. scared. <laughs> I know it's coming. Whoa, jeez! <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll... There you go. Ah. I love the high-pitched clings of the bolt. Such a nice sound. Machine gun ammo. I'd sure love to have a machine gun right now. Hint, hint, game. Why not? Maybe that wasn't the best idea. I'm too used to raid mode where you usually want to do that. Hey, look, a machine gun. Uh, okay, I'll put away the sniper rifle because that's kind of a specific thing. I will take this, though. MP5, baby. Oh, yeah. One of the best submachine guns ever. Alright, um, stopping power, huh? Yeah, that'll come in handy. Um, firing rate, yeah, fire rate, unfortunately you can't put that on the machine guns. That would have been cool. I guess I can put it on, actually, no, I have a better idea. I'll take, uh, oh wait, that is fire rate too. Well then, I'll go ahead and put that on there. There we go. Okay. MP5, very... <laughs> yeah, yeah, MP5 is a very good submachine gun. You know, it, uh, I believe its standout feature is that it has a closed bolt, which makes it much easier to handle than other submachine guns, and it also gives it greater accuracy, which is very good for a high rate of fire weapon, because it allows you to uh, put more rounds into the same target uh, or, you know, in a tighter group much more easily. Okay, it was around here. So Rachel isn't there anymore. Oh, no. No! No! Oh, guys, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. Guys, I'm scared. Oh. No clue as to who left the snow. Spoiler alert, it was Rachel. All right, I'm not gonna try and do a female voice because I cannot. I, I can do a lot of funny voices, but a female voice is not one of them. Okay, I was forced on this mission. I had no desire to come here for a job that could get me killed. At any rate, stage one is complete. I got the key for the fright lift. Now I can access the bilge. The ship was used as the base of operations for the terrorist attack on Terra Grigia one year ago. I found the UAV in the ship's foredeck that was used to disperse the virus. Finding the UAV was good. Getting attacked out of nowhere by an ugly monster was bad. 
I knew this mission would suck from the moment I took it. My head feels like it's going to split open. I lost an eye already. It's hard to see. I feel like crap. Arms are starting to feel weird too. My right arm split into two. Blood all over my body. I can see my bones. Need Dr. Bad. Uh, writing is obscured by blood. Oh god, no! Ah! Ah! Oh shit, you. Jill, what's wrong? I found the target, but she's a zombie. Isn't that always the case? This is a medical room. She came in here to try and patch herself up. I never put that together before. Huh. That's interesting. I literally, of all the times I've played this game, have never put it together that this is a medical room and she was starting to feel very bad so she came here to try and patch herself up. But yeah, that's Rachel. She was definitely the scariest part of this game to me as a kid. Uh, also a little confusing because, you know, I'd never seen a zombie that was also very heavy in a specific area on her upper body. That's... I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Oh god. Oh god. Please stop. Where do you think you're going? Okay, I'm on it. Right. I'll make my way to your position soon. Die. Yeah. Yeah, Ra Rachel always scares me. Because she's like... Uh, another thing that is just inherently scary about her is that she can always just pop out because, as Parker said, all the ducts are connected and there's a lot of entry points with the ducts. So, you know. But, here she is. I'll use them. I'll knife you. <laughs> Get out of here. Freaky. Well, great. Now I don't have any ammo. Maybe this will help me find something. Because I need a little something right now. I haven't really been doing that enough. Which is probably why I don't have any ammo. Oh, that's on the other side of the door. And gun ammo. Great. What? What? Where? I can't believe she turned so quickly. What? Okay. Wait, did I get her? I got her. Okay. I got the key. So it really was Rachel. But yeah. Yeah, she she's always disturbed me on a different level because compared to the other ones she still looks rather human in you know sp uh, specific areas um and you know as, as a 10 year old kid developing uh my brain in other areas 
it it was disturbing and freaky. It still kind of is. Oh great, I got a knife in me now. What, are you scared of me or something? I should be scared of you. Wait, I'm full. Okay. I don't have any ammo. I don't. If Parker could show up, like, at any time, that'd be great. Just, you know. Oh, wait. Juice. Yes. There's still power here. I want some, I want some Trish juice. Whatever that is. Purple drink. Oh, Parker. Dear, are you okay? Yeah. I got her. Don't worry about me. I'm a badass. Uh, do you have any ammo I could borrow, though, Parker? Because I'm kind of, kind of fubbernucked right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's another thing that makes Rachel scary is that she just she says things and, like, breathes Does this throughout mean all the ducks. The FBC too? I don't know. Maybe they're just using whoever they can. Right now, we need to worry more about getting this sheep operational. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's creepy to have her constantly say things. I hate it how, like, bits and pieces of the person that was infected or it's like still there a little bit I don't like it because like does that mean is is their consciousness still barely clinging on there or is it just their brain like flaring up things that they may have said or like something. they went insane or something I don't know it just it raises a lot of questions that are all terrifying and I don't want the answers Straight into the depths of hell. And I don't have any ammo. Alright, that's the end of the episode. So as always, that's also the end of the episode. Uh, in real life. As in, you know, I'm gonna stop recording and stuff. But yeah, man. Rachel, she's... She's freaking scary, dude. Um, you know, it, it always freaked me out it was always her that scared me the most like of all the monsters in this game it it, it was always her that just terrified me because i remember uh in my old house there's this big window in the living room and you know it was it was the living room so that was where i hung out and uh you know when you first see her when she transforms uh, it, it's up against the big window and she's you know like slams her body into it I, as a kid I it's, every time I looked at that window and it was the middle of the night I was always afraid I was gonna see her slam her against the window like she did and I mean looking back on it, it was pretty silly because you know it's it's a game and it's not real but I was I was the kid and I was scared and yeah, it, it was, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is exactly about her that always scared me the most. Uh, cause I, th I think the main thing is that she can come out at any time. She's like th really the main enemy that does that because with the skag dead or the chainsaw arm guy, really big blobby dude, you know, he can't pop out of nowhere. Uh, and he's very loud. The thing about Rachel is that she can hide around and then just pop out of nowhere and kill you. And that was, that was always scary to me. And again, you know, she's still somewhat human looking. Somewhat. <laughs> In a gross way. But yeah, uh, this, this bug bite that I have, it's irritating. And it's like, it, it was in my sock. I don't get it. I, I've gotten bug bites through thick clothes, I swear. I've always had a huge problem with bug bites. 
Like, anytime there's any bugs, I always get eaten up, and I hate it. Because it itches, and you don't want to scratch it because that makes it worse. And, you know, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I've started complaining about my bug right now, but it's, it, it's irritating. I'm irritated. I don't like it. Uh, but anyway, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of spoops, too. I got pretty spooped. But I hope you did, too. And I'll see you in the next episode.